That right there takes the day one lead. Big Silly! New leaders from Jury University. Way to go, there's your first place team. Hey there, everybody. Welcome into the latest episode of the Rapala We Are Collegiate Bass podcast. I am your host, Kyle Curry, being joined today by anglers from James Madison University, Tyler Nickel and Bull. Bo Howland. Bo was the club president for the team here over the last couple years. Tyler took over those duties back in the fall of 2021. Right now, guys, we're going into the spring of 2022. Y'all just started your first week of classes there at James Madison. Tyler, we'll bring you in here for the first question. Man, what's the excitement amongst the team? You know, getting back to school, sometimes that can kind of be a bit of a drag. Nobody wants to go back to class. It's not that much fun. But, man, you got a new season on the horizon, opportunities to go fish. Spring's right around the corner. It's going to start warming up. Talk about the excitement for the spring semester for the team at James Madison. Oh, we are just absolutely pumped at James Madison right now. Uh, we have Four boats ready to go. Um, we really wish we could have gone to the chain, but unfortunately, Jamie was really strict on uh, missing the first week of class. So we are really excited for February 24th, 25th for uh, Lake Chickamauga in Tennessee. And we definitely plan on doing more after that. Got a couple of tournaments lined up that we're really excited to do. Uh, Smith Fountain Lake is kind of a little bit of a home turf, and there are two with MLF that we are really excited for, too. That's awesome. The new excitement of the new season always brings a lot of joy. And for us at the ACA with the Bass Pro Shops Collegiate Bass Fishing Series, the School of the Year race, Bass Pro Shops School of the Year presented by Abu Garcia, we're about halfway done. But even still, flipping over to that second half of the season is really exciting. Being able to look at the calendar, that's one of the good things for especially schools into the Midwest up north. Once you start getting to come down here to the south and fish, you know that it's about to thaw out wherever you live, and it's going to be time to hit the water on your own home lakes here really soon. But we'll bring you in here, club president, for the last couple of years, as we mentioned at the start of the show. You, you've been an integral part of the team there, James Madison. Talk about your experience a little bit and what you've seen in the growth of the program and, and as you've worked with it over the last two or three years, how, how the team has matured and grown, gotten more experience, and, and just had a good time um, bonding over the opportunity to go fishing. Oh, it's been such an awesome experience being president over the last couple of years. Um, you get to surround yourself with guys who just love fishing as much as you do and grow your network based on that. Uh, COVID did hit us pretty hard. The school completely shut us down from fishing tournaments until last spring. But the bounce back last fall semester was awesome. We grew the club exponentially on the competitive team and we call it the recreational side. We also open up the club to people who don't competitively fish, but just enjoy bass fishing and any type of fishing in general. And we do small camping trips or trip to trips to lakes around here. So we've kind of blown that up last semester and are carrying that through. And it's been an honor to see it grow. We've heard a lot of success stories like that coming out of COVID over the last couple of years as we're still in it. But when it first started, everybody was at home. You had opportunity, you know, some of the few things you could do that were safe and approved by whomever might be telling you what it is you need to be doing to be safe and avoid the virus was get outside and go fishing. Get on a lake, get on a boat, take to the water. And we've seen it across, you know, whether it's sales at stores and, and sporting goods to anglers getting out and competing like at the AFCO Open for us this past fall. We had the biggest turnout we've ever had at that event. We had over 220 boats. We're talking to coaches and anglers. I'm like, yeah, we can't recruit enough kids to come to our campus to fish. People are out in the outdoors. They're loving it and really getting that opportunity to go do so. So that's really awesome to hear the growth that's happening with the team there at James Madison. Tyler, talk a little bit more to us about the team itself. You guys do a good job. We had University of Central Florida on here recently, and they were talking about all the different things they do in and amongst their program to help people run the social media page and give them growth inside the industry. Some expenses paid to go to tournaments and all the opportunities there and how it's not all about on the water. There's off the water things that are really important there as well. What are some of the priorities and things that you think that the team at James Madison does well on and off the water to promote the angler, the school, and the brands that y'all might work with? Um, so we were actually very fortunate uh, with our growth uh, with social media uh, through Instagram. Ever since COVID, we have reached over. Let's see. I'm actually looking at it right now. But we are actually now over 1,200 followers since COVID. And so 
we have done a really good job of being able to reach out. Uh, and even though we couldn't fish really during COVID, um, we've still been able to post and gain a lot of followers. And we've also been able to kind of reach out and promote for some sponsorships. Uh, we recently were landed a sponsorship with Spearpoint Fishing and they do, they are kind of new to the hooks and they are really good hooks. I mean, we are really excited to try them out. Um, so I guess overall, social media has been one of our best parts right now when we couldn't really fish for tournaments. Yeah, and um, I'll chime in on that a bit. One thing we did specifically on social media right when COVID hit that helped with growth is we still wanted to represent our title sponsor. It's called Valley Storage. It's a storage place here in Harrisonburg. So we started a series called Tackle Tip Tuesdays. You know, we were all in our hometowns, but still fishing during COVID. So we'd film small tackle tips. Each angler would talk about techniques they were really good at and had recommendations on and just make short uh, videos in their honor and help promote them off campus. That's awesome. I mean, that's the that's the growth you want to see as you do something like this inside the sport of collegiate bass fishing is, you know, that's a that's a holistic approach to to benefiting yourself, your team, the people that you work with. And when and when it's all said and done at the end of the day, if this is something that anglers want to carry on outside of school, that's the formula to success for sure for those anglers that want to make it at the next level and turn this into a career. We're talking to Tyler Nickel and Bo Howland from James Madison University there in Harrisonburg, Virginia. Bo, we'll send another question your way, even though you piggyback there off of Tyler's last answer. You've been a part of the team now for a couple of years. He, Tyler was talking about the growth that we've seen since COVID started in the last year and a half or so, but in the, your extended time at school since you were club president in 2019, you could speak to a couple of years back. Up until now, what, what have you seen change? You know, you can pat yourself on the back and toot your own horn a little bit if there's something that you've done that was an integral part of the success of the team, but whether it's major finishes out on a national level, um, personal or team growth like like Tyler talked about that y'all have seen returns on Instagram what are some things that have happened over the last couple of years that you think's built the team up to prominence oh definitely um I've just you know as in my last like as my presidency was ending I tried to focus more on obviously the basic operations of the club but I wanted to make sure everything once I graduate here in May will be in good hands um I was I played a big part in recruitment and tried to bring in people and help encourage them to step in new positions um, that'll help grow the team when I'm gone. So I would say the most successful thing I did in that was just make sure the club is still going to be great once I leave. Um, and I can come back in four, five, six, however many years. And hopefully it's better than I left it because that was my goal coming in. And I feel like I've accomplished that. Tyler, next question I'll send over your way. Your major, sport and recreation management with a minor in business. That's a pretty good um two pretty good areas to be in if you want to continue in a field like the outdoor and sports industry or fishing uh, more specifically what what do you see yourself doing once you get out of school or maybe what's your dream um, dream career to be able to pursue once you get done with your degree at James Madison uh, with my degree I'm very lucky that the James Madison University hard school of sport and rec is so renowned for the people that are taking that major um i could it i could do kind of a i could go very many different paths with this major which is really nice i could follow into fishing i could do sales promotions uh operations uh, i was recently one of our uh sponsors is missile and so i was recently emailing uh john cruz about a possible internship um but even if the fishing industry uh isn't looking for something like that i could also go into the sport industry well fishing is a sport sorry um <laughs> but i could also try out different sports as well um i've been reaching out to baseball teams football teams and i'm just really excited for uh what's ahead but right now i gotta focus on the team focus on uh kind of sustaining what we have going on at james jmu 
That's awesome. I think for any college kid, some of the best advice that you can get from anybody, whether it's your own peers or or even elders, is, man, if you're something that you love, that you like to do, and you're able to pair that together with your degree as a, as a job or a profession, that's some of the most rewarding time that you're going to spend in, in the workforce, in the professional field, going out and doing stuff like that. Um, for me, and specifically that's i mean i've worked in local news for a couple of years it was a job it paid the bills i got good experience but once i got the transition over into working here at careco tv and helping with the college series and being around fishing and hunting and everything that comes with that that's some of the best time that i've spent in my professional career the last couple of years has been here and it's rewarding it's fruitful it's it's tough work sometimes and we stay busy but when you are busy and and you're overwhelmed knowing that you're doing something that you love it really pays back both so then i'll send the same question to you no pressure there to have a good answer like like i just provided but you your your major is in communications kind of similar to me mine was in broadcast journalism what's your plan maybe you're shoot to come take my job or, or who knows what you want to do with that talk talk a little bit about what you what you would like to do with your degree as you finish school here soon well your job will be safe for a bit um uh, at, towards the end of the last semester i landed a job in sales with tetronic industry so I'll be going into sales of either Milwaukee or Ryobi power tools. And that all fell into place because of the bass team here at JMU, as wild as that sounds. I have to give a huge shout out to Blake Miles and Daniel Jenkins. They were the two guys who started the club back in 2017. Um, when I was a freshman, they highly, highly encouraged me to run for president. And I wasn't even thinking about it. Uh, they had me take that leap forward. And I think, uh, I mean, it was half my resume that I talked about in those interviews, and it was how I answered their questions on how I would be a good asset for their company and played a huge role in me even landing that job. And on the same note, if there are any younger college angler guys listening to this right now who are considering running for a position, please do it. Not only will you help grow the team that you love and care about, but it can help you so much later in life after college. Yeah, that's awesome. Great advice there. Former club president here myself for a year or two at the University of Arkansas when I was in school up there. And yeah, you learn you like things that I do now as we're reaching out to companies and try and build partnerships and stuff like that. Ten years ago when I was in my dorm room as a sophomore in Fayetteville, I was doing the exact same stuff and it builds upon itself and you learn valuable tools that you're going to be able to use down the road. You just don't know it while you're doing it, how, how important it is to the future of your career. Tyler, let's talk now. I'm going to end with two questions, one to you and one to Bo. Let's talk about the team as we go to wrap up this interview real quick. Provide a little bit of a sales pitch. Somebody that's looking to come into James Madison, or maybe they don't even know about James Madison, but they want to fish in college. What can you tell to them as a little bit of a recruiting sales pitch as to why they should come to Harrisonburg and be a part of y'all's team? All right. Um, so my sales pitch for someone out there listening, uh, definitely, definitely take a look at James Madison University. Uh, our fishing team, is growing. We have a bunch of new guys that have boats that are very excited. And honestly, these have been the best of my friends while at college is everyone from uh, the Jamie Bass fishing team. Um, and I'm, they're definitely going to be lifelong friends that I'm going to have forever. And yes, fishing is very important, but I mean, it's also about the relationships and the connections that you can get through fishing. And I'm just glad that I joined. Just as simple as that. I don't know where I'd be without the JMU Bass team. Uh, dude, shout out to Cooper. He's the one that got me onto the team, Cooper Casillas. Um, and I mean, I, I'm just at a loss for words, but I'm just so, so glad I decided to do this. Yeah, I think I could say that I've never really talked to anybody that's ever regretted the opportunity to be a part of a college fishing team in college, other than maybe you missed an important quiz while you were at an event or, or your your GPA might have suffered by just a little bit. But otherwise, man, there's a lot of good positive things that come from it and, and just a lot of good stories, lifelong mem friendships and things that, that they're going to last a long time and be of a significant value and importance in your life. Bo, if anyone's wanting to be a part of the club, get more information become more involved you know instagram page where all can they find you guys to be able to reach out and get connected um instagram if you want to connect to us it's just at jmu underscore bass 
um, feel free to shoot us a DM. We'll get back to you quick and let you know anything you need. And um, why to come to JMU? We have an amazing network of sponsorships. Big shout out to Valley Storage, Stephen Toyota, Thayer Marine, um, and W's Fishing and Hunting. Those are kind of our main four. Um, if you ever are in Harrisonburg, please stop by Dubby's. It's the best tackle shop in the area. Um, we have all these sponsors. They allow us to cover almost everything when you go fish. We have dues per semester. They're relatively cheap. But when you travel, we cover gas for your boat, gas for your truck, the food you eat during that week, and where you stay. The only thing we don't is the actual rods and reels you use. But we provide discounts on all of that as well. Um, so it's going to let you grow your tackle arsenal and experiences all around and let, make those lifelong friendships like Tyler was talking about. If you want to get plugged in with college fishing, check out JMU, James Madison University, located in Harrisonburg, Virginia. We've been talking with Tyler Nickel and Bull Howland today. Guys, thanks for taking the time to get on the phone with us here. Best of luck this season as you'll get out and hit the water, and we, we wish everything but the best for the team as well over the next couple of years and on into the future as it continues to grow from the work hard work that y'all put in. So guys, thanks. Have a great weekend and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you All so right, much for you. having us, man. And that's all we need. We need that quarter that we can to Yeah? Stop working right now! Look outside. Is this spreadsheet weather? No, it's not. This is fishing weather, so stop clicking, get out there, and catch a bass! Stop what you're doing and start fishing Rapala Ripstop. There's no feeling like it. When you prep the gear, done the research, found the spot, nailed the presentation, and now, there's only one thing left to do. Keep fishing. So gear up with all the best fishing gear. Only at Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Shop in-store or online.